Hello, I am Adesh, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today, I am going to explain why a table in Amazon Redshift cluster can consume more or less disk storage space than expected. Let's get started. In Amazon Redshift, the minimum table size is the smallest footprint that a table has on an Amazon Redshift cluster. Some of the factors which impact the minimum table size in Amazon Redshift are number of populated slices, distribution style of the table, number of table segments, number of user columns. For tables created using key, even or auto even distribution style, use this formula to find the minimum table size. For tables created using all or auto all distribution style, use this formula. In this example, the number of segment is based on whether the table has a defined sort key. If an Amazon Redshift table has no sort key, then the table produces only one unsorted segment. To calculate the number of populated slices, use the following query. Note that I will show you steps using PSQL client to create a table with event distribution style. In this demo, I'm going to use a four node DC2 large as well as eight node DC2 large, which has two slices per node. You can confirm this with this query. The following query creates a table with even distribution style. Now let's insert the same number of rows in both the clusters. To find the number of rows present per slice for the column, use this query. To see the size of a table including the three internal columns, we talked about run the query. To get the actual size of a table including the system columns, use the query. To calculate the minimum table size for an event distribution style which we created, use the following formula. For 4 nodes, for 8 nodes, a similar logic can be applied for all other distribution styles. Remember that if a table has a sort key, it has 2 segments, sorted and unsorted and so the number of table segments will be 2. Note that when a classic resize is performed, the number of populated slices grow without a corresponding growth in data volume for the table. As a result, the amount of free space after the resize does not grow linearly. So now you know how you can calculate minimum size of a table in Amazon Redshift. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.